of discussing life and health as women today with Sina, and she is an expert in all things remineralizing yourself and being a truly nourished woman. So I'm I'm so excited to dive in. She supports women to embrace a nourished, resilient, and radiantly healthy lifestyle. And I'm so curious. What does it mean to be a remineralizer and a wellness explorer? What what does that mean? But first of all, thank you so much for being here, Sina. I mean, it's it's um you're in the Pacific Coast as as I understand, and I'm here in Finland, so we're quite far apart. But it's so cool to come together to talk about these important topics. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I love that. Yeah, we're. Bridging the bridging the world and bringing this message all the way over to Finland is amazing. Thank you for the work that you do. And um, yeah, a remineralizer. That's kind of my own spin. Um, I'm by you know training. I'm a mineral nutritional balancing practitioner. So that's really it's about mineral balancing. But I kind of I don't know. I just kind of came up with remineralizing because it felt to me like a way of. I don't know, visually understanding maybe like getting minerals back into your body. Yeah. Um, and then the wellness explorer part of my title just came from my own health journey of exploring, like not being well, having severe histamine intolerance, having, you know, severe PMS issues, mm-hmm. hormonal issues, crazy fatigue, just being like really sensitive and not able, I didn't, I was not resilient. I was not, I didn't have much capacity. Um, for a few years there. And so I just, I've, I've always been kind of not into the conventional medical system. I had, I just knew that they wouldn't really be able to help me. And so Mm -hmm. I just was exploring, I was exploring many different approaches to health. I did keto, I did genetic testing. Um, I fasted, I've done plant medicine, I've done more spiritual healing approaches microdosing, you know, list goes on. Um, and then I found the minerals and started to understand that the root of our health depends on minerals. Mm -hmm. Like our, our cells, our mitochondria, like all the enzymatic functions in the body require a balance of minerals and vitamins to function. And so Um, once I, once I kind of discovered that I was like, oh my gosh. And I just went full into the, the world of minerals. Wow. That's so cool. There's a lot I've, I've seen your story, I heard your story on another podcast interview. And, uh, it, it was so interesting how you've gone through all these, all kinds of like, you tried out everything, right? Like you said, mm-hmm. you've, you've been vegetarian as I understand it. And you've, you've tried all the things like the plant medicine and, and the microdosing and all of those things. Yeah. And then finally, then you, I think you found, um, a pro metabolic yeah. lifestyle and mm-hmm. uh, we're going to go into that. Like, what is that really? But before we go, I actually wanted to, um, sort of highlight what you do and what this discussion is about by bringing up one of your stories from Instagram. Um, this is something that I thought I wanted to share with my listeners is that, in this my story portion of your uh, of your instagram stories you tell like what what were the changes that you experienced in your life when you started to he- truly heal and become a well-nourished woman and i think this is just such such a great list so i just wanted to share it with my listeners if you're okay with that yeah so um here you write that without a doctor over the last nine months well this was last march but over the last year and something I have learned how to support my adrenals, thyroid, cardiovascular, and hormone system with minerals, heal my gut, minimize my food intolerances, minimize inflammation flares, balance my blood sugar by balancing my macros, track my metabolic health with pulse and basal body temperature, properly nourish my body for sustained energy throughout the day, Heal my body so I can do metabolically supportive strength training and reclaim the joy of being alive. I mean, if that doesn't sell you, I don't know <laughs> what will. <laughs> so this is just like I because I want to highlight this because I want this conversation to be a reminder that this is available for everyone, mm-hmm. that women don't need to live lives of of constant struggle 
and um, being completely just malnourished, which is the way that most of us are conditioned to be. So let's start there. What does it mean to be a well nourished woman, like being a radiantly nourished woman? What what are we even talking about? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So one way to think about it is um, thinking about metabolism. So you brought up the pro-metabolic lifestyle kind of dietary approach and pro-metabolic just means pro our metabolism. Our metabolism is like our, think of it as like the, the engine of our body. How efficiently is our body's engine running? How, how is it uh, utilizing fuel, like our food, our, our inputs, and how is it eliminating toxins, exhausting the gas, or the, the, yeah, exhausting waste basically. Um, and so, you know, so like the, the root cause, in my opinion, of so many, really all of our health issues, mental, emotional as well, is a, a metabolism that's not functioning properly. So when our metabol- our metabolic you know, rate starts to lower or become out of balance, then our body is less efficient in doing what it needs to do. It will start shutting down, you know, different like non, uh, non important system or like less important systems in order to keep us surviving. Mm -hmm. So it will stop us. Like we won't detox as well because we just need energy to, you know, live and get up and do things. Um, and so as that happens over time, then, sim- then we start to develop symptoms. So from a metabolism perspective, what does a you know, well-nourished woman look like or feel like she, we look at just kind of basic body markers, like biomarkers. So how well are we sleeping? How well are we digesting? Are we able to eat well? Do we have an appetite? Are we running? Are we always cold? Are we, our hands and feet always cold? Um, are we anxious? You know, how's our mental health? Do we have sustained energy throughout the day? How's our libido? Do we have, like, do we feel like juicy and, um, you know, interested in, in like sexual pleasure? Um, do we, how's our hair? How are our nails? Um, you know, what's our tongue look like? You know, if you want to go into like more traditional Chinese medicine approaches, um, those are kind of the, the, the basics, but it's like, when you just like, that's kind of the the foundations of being a a well-functioning human. And unfortunately, just in like modern society, we've just kind of gotten far from that. So many of us, me included, you know, did not have any or all, most of those, you know, just basics of being a balanced human. Like most of those are not the normal experience for for Mm -hmm. women. so that's, yeah, that's one, you can kind of take a little intake for yourself, right? Of just like, huh, like looking at all these different categories, how is my metabolism doing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's so good. And what do you think are the most common obstacles that women face today? The women that you work with, as well as in your own journey, what are the biggest things that in terms of like what we consume, but also our lifestyle, like how we relate to Mm -hmm. ourselves and all of that. So what are some of the things that come up? Yeah, it's, uh, there's so many, honestly. I mean, we are kind of like running an uphill battle. I will, I will say, um, it's not an, it's not, many of us have been just conditioned into this where we didn't really have a choice point of like, do I get to choose to live a life of burnout or a a connected, you know, radiantly nourished Mm -hmm. life? Like we don't get that. Um, So for anyone out there that's like in this burnout place, like just, it's okay. You know, we've, I think we've all been there. Um, But yeah, I think a big one is just not eating enough and the kind of this programming of like the less we eat, the better. Um, Mm -hmm. Obviously there's a whole lot of body image baked into that, but, you know, just eating more, like women should be eating at least 2000 calories, usually more, depending on body type, a hundred grams of protein. If most women who track their protein, like they're so shocked by how little protein they're actually consuming, eat breakfast, like, like food, there's a whole, like, I think the world would change substantially if women ate breakfast within an hour of eating up, ate a protein dense, nutrient dense breakfast ate enough calories throughout the day, didn't let themselves get hangry. Cause every time we get hangry, 
our stress hormones kick on mm. and we, that like contributes to a, a pattern of burnout over time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the food, the food is like a huge one. I mean, there's obviously many lifestyle things, but that's, that's like something that people can start with right now. Mm. I saw that you mentioned somewhere probably on your Instagram, like this new way of living that focuses on slowing down. Mm -hmm. What does that look like and feel like for you? Oh, yeah. So um, I was thinking about the slow food movement. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but there's this yeah. whole movement of like, just, just bringing awareness to the kind of ancient or more traditional ways of growing food, having farm animals, you know, making your 